welcome to Holistic Sight's free video series on EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. My name is Donna Belangi and I'm a holistic health practitioner. I've been studying holistic healing and health almost all my life, but more formally for the past 25 years. I'm a Reiki master of many different types of Reiki, a hypnotherapist, a cranial sacral therapist, an NLP practitioner. I've studied all sorts of energy medicine, energy healing, energy psychology, you name it, and I've done it, studied it, or teach it, or all of those. This video today is what is EFT? And a little bit on how we think it works. We're not sure how it works, but basically a little bit on, on how we think it works. It, EFT came from Gary Craig, who was a NLP master practitioner who was looking for something that worked a little bit easier and a little bit better than NLP. NLP works well, but the results are not really up to what Gary cared for it to be. And he heard about a practitioner known as Roger Callahan. Now, Roger Callahan was a clinical psychologist that worked with many patients, as most clinical um, psychologists do. And he's working, and he worked with one particular pre, uh, patient of his who had a phobia of water. So severe was her phobia, she could barely even go to the, to the bathroom with water flowing because of, the water phobia was that strong. And he'd been seeing her for quite a while. He was also studying at the same time something known as meridian therapy, which is the ancient acupuncturist therapy, or ancient therapy that acupuncturists work with. Meridians are the lines of energy that acupuncturists use to, to do their needles with, but he was learning how to tap on points and get results similar to what acupuncturists is. So he was working with this one patient of her of his and she was talking about her phobia and happened to mention she had a stomach ache well he knew that the point for the stomach was under the eye so he asked her to tap while she was talking about her phobia and at the end of the session her phobia was gone well Roger was smart and he realized something here happened that was really important because he'd been working with her for years and just talking hadn't done it so something about talking and tapping did it. So he started to work with his other patients and found that if they tapped on specific points in their body while they talked about their problem, the problems got, were released or, or they showed improvement. So he came up what was what's called thought field therapy. And thought, thought field therapy, what he, what he found was specific points to tap on for specific issues. Say you were dealing with anger, you would tap on these set of points. If you were dealing with depression, these set. If it was sadness, these set. If it was physical pain, these sets. So he came up with an algorithm of different points that you tap based on what it was you were dealing with. Well, Gary Craig heard about Roger and wanted to take the class and it was quite expensive at the time. I think Gary said something like $10,000. But he was willing to do it. He really wanted to learn it. What, what Roger taught or teaches, I don't know if he still does teach, but what he taught at the time was that you muscle test the person to find out exactly what it was they were dealing with. And then you go based on his chart on which points you need to tap on. Well, Gary took the course, really liked it, and started working with people. What he found was he wasn't really very comfortable or competent with the muscle testing part. So it would take him like 45 minutes or longer just to find out what it was that the patient was working with and then it only took a minute to tap. So I thought, well, there's only 14 tapping points, which are the beginning or the end points of the meridians. There's 14 meridian systems. And so there's only 14 points to tap. Why not just tap on them all? You'll eventually, you'll get the four that are needed for that particular issue and it just only takes a minute to tap on all of them. So lo and behold, that's how EFT came about. 
and that's the basic, what he calls the basic recipe is those 14 points. Now that was 20 years ago, and since then EFT has evolved and they don't, they no longer tap on that many points. There's only about half of them that are tapped on and because they found that there's, a, there's five or six of them right on the hand itself and when you tap you're stimulating those points so there's no reason to tap those points. So, so again I will show you in a separate video which is a very short video exactly those points so you can get that video will be very easy for you to go through but right now I'm not going to talk about which points they are but just letting you know that they, you tap on specific points in your body and you tap all of them and it, it's so much easier to do. So that's how EFT came about. So when you tap on these points, they what it does is basically the same thing as what would happen if you went to an acupuncturist. And how acupuncture would explain how an acupuncturist would explain that they work is that each line, meridian line, holds a set of energy in it. And when everything is clear and everything is running smoothly, energy runs very clean, very clear, and the person feels very vibrant and feels very good. But if there's something stuck, and we'll call that stuck energy um, is what, what we're working on, when something is stuck that needs to be released. So an acupuncturist would put a needle in that point where an EFT therapy in EFT we just tap on a point. So basically it's clearing that line of stuck energy. Now stuck energy we can also look at as like an emotional outburst or an emotional response that we have. What Gary found and what most psychologists find is that when we have a situation in our life that caused tra trauma, it's not the event itself that's the problem. It's the emotional attachment that we've put on it that's causing the problem. That's the energy block. The energy block is that emotional content that we've added on. So we have an event that happened and then all of a sudden something happened that jarred it. And that jarring caused an emotional outburst. Anger, pain, fear, sadness, grief. Something hit us hard and it stuck. And for a lot of people, it's stuck there for years. But with EFT, it doesn't matter. It could be 20 years, it could have been yesterday, it could have been 10 minutes ago, it could have been 50 years ago. It makes no difference because the line of energy is not a timeline. It's just a line of energy that has this break in it. And what EFT does, what acupuncture does, is it clears out the line. So what we ask in EFT and what's most important in EFT is to focus on what is the problem. Focus on the situation you're working on. Now a lot of people they want to say no 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 I don't want to I don't want to focus on that I don't I, I want to say well that's the problem we've been having our whole life we don't want to and that's why we still have it maybe I don't know why I don't I'm not saying that is why but but with EFT you want to focus on it because it's that line of energy that we need to clear. If we're focused over here, we can't clear this line. Some people say, well, I want to just focus on the good things. I just want the positive things. I don't want to say I have this anger, this pain, or this problem. I want to say I'm happy and joyful. Well, that's all well and good, but it's not going to clear this line of energy that's got the stuck energy. The stuck energy is in that situation. So it's focusing on that specific situation that clears it. So when we do, we call it the setup in EFT, and I'll teach you that in the other video on how to do EFT, so please watch that video. But in the setup statement, we're confirming or affirming or confirming that we have this situation so we can focus on it and release it. So as we focus on that line, we can release the line. It's like saying, I, I know I have this dark spot over here, 
but it's a dark spot. I want to be over here by the light spot. I don't want to clean out the dark spot. Well, the dark spot's going to stay there until we get onto the dark spot and clean it. And once it's clean, it's gone. And that's the way EFT works. And it really, it, it's phenomenal. The case histories I've seen, the people I've worked with, the classes that I've taught, it just amazes me every time I do it on how it works and how well it works. And you can do a search on the internet, EFT results, and you will find hundreds or thousands of case histories online. Now there are a few things that cause EFT to not work quite as well, but we can still deal with those things. The first one was so important that the minute I heard about this, I knew this was my issue with my fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. It's called psychological reversal. And what, what it is basically is that our system is starting to run counter to our healing. And it's not that it's trying to not heal, it's just it can't heal. For some reason, that particular thing that we have in our life, we are getting some strange sort of benefit from, and I don't wanna even use the word benefit because that might sound bad that I'm saying you have a benefit for something you have, but for some reason you have this issue in your life for a reason. You want to hold on to that anger, not want to, but somehow the body or the mind says this is important to hold on to this anger because if you let go of that anger, then that person might hurt you again. Or you want to hold on to this particular pain because if you let go of it, another pain will come in. So there's some strange reasons in our mind that we've created this thing and we're reversed to healing. And in my situation, with chronic situations, I had all that too, but also because it was so chronic and I was so depleted of energy at all, I didn't have the energy to heal. It takes some energy to heal. And my body just couldn't. I was in so much pain. I was dealing with just so much. I had two young children and both of them were dealing with their own issues and autism. They were both autistic. And I, I had to deal with what was going on with them. I was working on, on what was going on with me. I was exhausted. And when I heard about psychological reversal, bells went off in my head because it was like, that's what's happening with me. So EFT, right off the bat, reverses that and puts the body into a healing mode. And once that's done, the healing works. So the setup, what's called the setup in EFT, which is a, a, a statement that we say that even though we had this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. And when we say that, it kind of like, it's a, like a release. It's like, you know, yeah, okay, I do. I have this issue, I have this problem, and it's okay. And it somehow works in reversing the psychological reversal. Roger Callahan found with, through his muscle testing that 80% of the people he was working with had this psychological reversal. And once he did this setup, they were healing, they were working, they were working through their issues with no problems at all. So the psychological reversal is so important that it's included in all the EFT processes. We just start right off with it. It start right off with the statement, with the setup statement, and then we do the EFT tapping. So that's the first thing that we do, and it's taken care of because we just include it in the basic recipe of EFT from Gary Craig.